Welcome, welcome back to This Week in Showdown. <laughs> you like my voice still, Jeff? It's still, I, it, it, there's, you can, I'm telling you right now, just like I said before, you, you have to start every one of these with that. It, it, you, I will, I will hang up and leave. I will just, I'll just straight up turn off the, you know, turn off my mic, yeah. walk away. It's like, Jeff, are you there? Like, are you there? Yeah, they're like, like whoa, start back happened? over. <laughs> you're like, I'm you're I'm like, Bob, I'm upset. I don't know how to put it. I don't, don't know how else to put it. I'm very upset. So all right. Well, we are now into week two. And the one thing I like to do uh for uh show with this week in showdown is it's not who's the best player in baseball, it's actually who is the best this week in baseball, which is what it came from, which was Twib, and now it's Twist. But uh, so some of these players aren't the best overall player, but they were the best this week. Now, some of them obviously are still the best, and you'll see that shortly. And as always, uh, this week in Showdown is, is brought to you by MLB Showdown Card Bot. See him on Twitter at MLB Showdown Bot. Our boy Gula, uh, Gula. Matt Gula. So yeah, follow him. Uh, he, posts the, he, he runs the bot that I get all the pictures from, or sorry, I'll get all the data from, and I, I put the pictures in the, in the morning and get the last seven days of data to do this. Uh, or sorry, the last seven day players, top four batters, top four pitchers this week, and then I run through the bot, and they give me the season stats. So first, and we, and uh, what's we up? We should actually, before that, we should actually mention that one of the amazing things about the bot is that we're running these in the 2001 style, oh, yeah. which you think, oh, that's just how it looks. That's It's just an aesthetic thing. Um, actually, that's not correct. And Bob, when I was just talking to this off pod, that um, he, Matt Gula, Shudon Bot, reversed engineered the formula for each year for 2000, 2001, because we knew there were differences. Um, they, they, you know, heavily favored batting, I believe, in 2000. Um, and they pulled it back a little bit on 2001. They bumped up relief staffs, things like that. So, so th- we're just going forward with the 2001 style, because I think that our whole crew is kind of like that's. I think collectively our favorite year. Yeah, my favorite um, year is 2000. Visually looking, well, I kind of lean back and forth, but I think 2001 was the best set. Like it, it yeah, agreed. Yeah, so it's it's yeah, it's like I mean, we only got two years of it, but we there was there were flaws for 2000, 2001. They cleaned them up, and it was a very very one and only perfect set to me. Like, mm-hmm. so first up. We have Mr. Ronald Acuna Jr. Monster. <laughs> Let's week. just get him out of the way first, yes, right? Yes. <laughs> well, he, he, so he had a, just a monster week. Um, they're you know they're they're joking about you know his his last fifty games, which was in the last season. What he's doing, you know, compared to Babe Ruth and stuff, but just absolute monster week. He had uh, I think four homers. Um, just again this just this week, uh, uh, ten RBIs. One stolen base, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen runs. Like what? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's it's like I mean, who knows if he keeps on it? Like chances are he, oh he won't. But gosh, <laughs> um, but oh my god, like it just it's 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 like staggering i don't know how else to put it like i literally like i was just like curious i usually am checking the top of you know just top ops in the league and see who's up there um and uh, ronald acuna jr is a 1.409 and then number two dropping down by about you know over one you know not one but 0.1 ops is mike trout at 1.276 i mean that's that's a substantial drop off in terms of what we're talking about here yeah acuna is on absolute fire if you have him in any of your fantasy leagues he's tearing it up this card is an absolute bonkers of a card uh to get the ace b20 (laughs) <laughs> right. I don't know. Like, again, I, I love I still love these bonkers high cards because there's still this question of like, oh, man, would you toy with it? I still think, of course, too much for one guy. But, man, double at 12. Like there's there's a I mean, there's like Barry, Barry. Bond, it's not really Barry Bond vibe like that. That one like that nine hundred and eighty point Barry Bonds card, because like he didn't have like triples and doubles. He just pretty much home run, <laughs> you know, had a mm-hmm. homer or walked, you know. And then next up, we have a newcomer to this. Now we got Manny Machado. So now we got a card that isn't that crazy uh, point wise because he didn't start off the season that good. But this week he had two homers and four stolen bases, four RBIs, a handful of hits. I think he had six hits and eight runs, which is an amazing week. So whatever his card was before, this obviously gets bumped up from that. Now we're looking at an, an interesting card here. So. He gets the four stolen bases this week, so I think his his speed's gonna end up going up soon, uh, hopefully. Yeah, but uh, right now he's a speed speed ten nine on base plus two at third, um, eighteen home run guy. I mean this is an interesting card. I, I, the walk range is too high for me, but again 
it's too early to <laughs> and we'll see these formulas sort of push all the stats throughout all the uh, opportunities here but you know interesting card i mean i would take any nine that's almost under 300 points <laughs> oh 100 like there's I, the fact that it's a nine under 300 points homers at 18 like i it could he could be one to six out and i think he would probably i would probably be taking him i mean if you took this card and just threw him into our 2020 draft no question does he get picked um i think the funny thing to your point is like the 15 to 17 single plus range and then a speed c it's like i, I don't think i've seen something like that um again like and we're looking at such weird bizarre data so that like you know, the showdown bot was designed around cards created from 162 games. We're looking at like what, 12 or 15 or something. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, I, I still think even that weirdness aside, even if you was 13 to 17 single, which is what this basically is. Don't care. This is absolutely draftable. Absolutely on a team. Yeah. And then I wouldn't think that we'd be talking about a uh, Marlins player, but I've always loved Starlin Marte uh, who's up next here. He had uh, 11 runs this week. And six RBIs, two homers, and a stolen base. And so now he's got like a pretty, pretty solid little card here. Center field plus two, nine on base, uh, big single range, got some single plus in here, triple. I know there's a solid nine, but I'd love to see, you know, some Marlins, and I'd love to see Starlin Marte up on the list this week. Yeah, this card's very, I, I feel like it's, it's middle, I mean, it's, it's exactly what it should be for 360. I agree. Like I agree. maybe a slightly below, but um, no, it's great. I mean, like center field, I think a lot of people in our leagues are trying to cherry pick for center field plus threes when they exist, but dude, solid center field plus two on base nine, like the triple at 18, um, the single plus matter here. Cause mm-hmm. he's a speed B um, not a ton of walks. So yeah, this is this one to three out. I, I feel mean, like, I, like I, you said, it's I priced this very, very right. Um, right, competitively. So I don't right. know if I'm drafting this kind of guy, but I just like to see him because I've always liked Starling Marte ever since his pirate days. <laughs> yeah, so this is like, and man, this uh, I love the the bot with the um, the black background. Oh yeah, the, the for Marlins sure. Black background. For I mean, sure. I, I think I I wish I mean the White Sox cards from the back in the day and the 2000 2001 set look so great because a black background mm-hmm. just works. But when you add a black background and actually have colors, you know, especially on the jersey and the logo, oh, yeah. Kind of, shooting shouting out at you from the from the uh, card that's that's the dream and then randomly another marlins player makes the list adam duvall um crazy so this last week (laughs) yes wild yeah so he didn't really do anything if you look at his season stats versus his last seven days it's basically his last seven days (laughs) i mean right so okay he had 10 rbis this week uh three homers two doubles uh and and seven runs he has 11 rbis in the season 10 of them were this week uh, and and it, this is the reason was because on one game he had two homers and seven RBIs and four runs, so he really killed it one game. But he gets to make the list this week, so we, a weird giant strikeout range without uh, also going to his fly ball, but then like all double triple homers. <laughs> Dude, I'm, I'm this is a you know who this is? This is a this is Javi Baez. Twenty oh, yeah. was, it, two, was is it a 2019 Javi Baez? Like twenty? Yeah, was yeah. 2018? 20, I think it was 2018. 2018. I think 2018 or 2019. It's one of those two that, I, you know, it might be 2019 where it has it the might blue be border. Both. I yeah. mean, basically on base seven, you know, one to six out. Because mm-hmm. I remember that card had that, but then doubles at nine. You know, yes. like, and I think that, of course, he had like what he's a, because he's second, is he second or short? I should know that. Oh, uh, shortstop. Short. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, he was like short plus six. Yep. So that was a huge thing too. But um, for 430, uh, no single i don't yeah. know it's like it's, it's a wild it's a card race. it's fun it's a wild card mistake and, pitch leagues this works and that's what's know. so fun about doing this week in showdown is uh these cards are going to hopefully keep being random players and you're going to see when you tune in on sundays hopefully we'll keep doing this on sundays when you tune into this week in showdown you click it on you like my guy was crazy this week i want to see what his card is like that's what i'm hoping that people look in it's, right. it's not just who's the best player overall because that's going to be you know the same five guys every week but like no 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 like you know eddie rosario made the made the top players this week but not the top enough to do it but it, you know that's oh good we got a cleveland guy in there you know so it's kind of cool yeah, to sure. see but um you know i'm still waiting and, for and, jazz uh chisholm to make the list because uh, that's my boy right now yeah, he's. I was about to say, I was looking for the Marlins. He's number one in OPS. I, he's above a one. That's I love great. him. Jazz, man, he's um, so fun. <laughs> one thing that I, I love about this series, too, is that, like, in, I think everybody kind of feels this way, especially in the showdown world. Like, we're looking at the stats and, like, who's great and kind of especially to, through the season and kind of looking at it through the lens of, like, what would their showdown card look like, which, of course, is what we're doing. But I love it, too, for just for me personally, because now I can keep up and say, look, we looked at Adam Duvall. 
uh, week two. Like, I hope to God he can keep it up and, like, be there. And, like, let's keep looking at Acuna. Like, yeah. my God, maybe he consistently is on top. And, like, because we're still going to do – um, we'll still do uh, like our, our crew here. Like, you know, I know Matt and Peter are, you know, and, and Bob, probably you too. Like we're still doing a 2021 set, like kind oh, yeah. of through like the way they do it, just to kind of keep consistent with the, the uh, work that's been there. Um, so that's the thing. This is like almost just a great, like kind of just intro. Yeah. It's like, always a like long, the, a I wish, intro. I wish you could do it right. for 162 games. You know what I mean? <laughs> right. So but next we'll see up, how they turn out. Yes. You know? so, so next up, we're going to switch over to our pitchers, best pitcher. Still making the list this week is Tyler Glass now. Just keeps getting close to that thousand point number. Oh, Fucking oh ridiculous God. of a card <laughs> that he is. Ridiculous. Yeah. So he had two pretty good outings this week where he only gave up one run in the one and zero in the other. He had 21 strikeouts this week and he picked up two wins, uh, which again, in showdown doesn't matter, but in real baseball, that's pretty cool to see. Again, in real baseball, it doesn't judge the best pitcher, but it is still cool to get your team wins. And uh yeah this card is fucking stupid <laughs> like... um, imagine right now i'm just gonna i'm gonna paint a picture you're playing a game right let's somehow this card is pitching against you which you're already just probably having the worst day imagine <laughs> imagine having a guy on first somehow maybe through a, a 19 walk 20 single and then rolling a fucking 17 ground ball <laughs> into a double play <laughs> like imagine i would just flip the table and yeah. walk away like we're done playing yeah, you it's know? just like the sucky part you know it's like all right you know because you're gonna lose almost every advantage and you're like oh hot yeah. 20 single or like a hot 19, only a walk. So you're barely ever getting on base. It's, it's just not happening. <laughs> it's There's some point, like, I I definitely think, I, I love looking at high point starters because there's definitely a point. We've seen Greg Maddox, like, even though mm -hmm. he did super well for you, we've seen 2001 Greg Maddox has bad days. Like, I remember having, you know, back in the day when I had, like, really good 2018 Verlander and things like like They have bad days. Oh, yeah. But there's a certain point in which, I guess, if, no matter what, if they're rolling 20s, it doesn't matter. But there's a certain point in which, like, you know, maybe at the 700 point mark, like an 800 point mark where it's like, you're just, it's an automatic win. Yeah. Almost like, I mean, Pedro so he is, had I think... a 0. 0.7 whip this week, which means he's averaging less than one walk or hit per inning pitch. And that's what I'm seeing from this card. Ugh. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like he's no, not averaging and that, and actually that seven day total brought his whip up from, and it's now 0. 0.65. <laughs> that's how ridiculous his whip is right oh now. Oh my gosh. I so, love it. I... Yeah. It's, it's bonkers. Um, all right. Next up, is Clayton Kershaw. Um, so he has three wins in the season. He picks up two wins this week uh, with no ERA. He has two two outings where he gets two wins and doesn't give up a single run. He gets 14 strikeouts this week um, and at a .75 whip this week, raising his card up to a control five, 620-point guy again. Just amazing. you know. Huge ground ball range. Oh, there. yeah. I mean, this, I think this is a... I'm telling you right now, if this was in a league, it's gets it, this gets drafted. Someone will yeah. spend six twenty. This on is this. where we're looking at actually a more realistic card. Again, Glassnell's card is almost unrealistic, but okay, a five control seventeen out guy. This is like a Pedro type type of card. You know, it's six twenty yep. for sure getting drafted. <laughs> for sure. I mean, he's going. I mean, he's got to be going seven or eight probably. But um, my God, the ten to sixteen ground ball range and then only singles, which singles are going to be scary. But the fact that it's it's only singles is 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 fantastic. well. That's what's so wild. So he's not walking anybody. He has. Has three walks on the season in 24 innings pitched. <laughs> he had two outings where he didn't walk a single guy and went six and seven innings. Those two outings, so he's doing some wild stuff right now, and, and no one really is even talking about because you got people like Glass now and Bieber and all these other people throwing monster games. But pretty cool yeah. to see him on the list this week. Uh, next up, we're going all you know, not too far away. Same divisions is going over to you, Darvish, who who uh, uh, had a loss. Uh, I think it was yesterday, but. Um, Oh, my son is talking to me this week. Hold on, Bubba. Oh, what's, what's he think? What's he think of you? I think he, yeah, I think I don't know what he thinks of you, Darvish, but uh, you, Darvish, this week uh, gets 15 strikeouts, gets one win, only lets up two earned runs, and has a .5 whip. So again, ridiculously low whip. Again, another card. You're talking about the five control, six twenty type player. Um, yeah. This is like the same thing. So who, I mean, obviously, I would rather have this guy because of the uh, the walks. But then he has the double. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe, I, I was about, I, I was actually, about to I want, ask you. I want Darvish. Or, sorry, I want uh, Kershaw because the no double. Okay, I, I think I go Kershaw. I think like even though the a lot of singles can be scary altogether, I think taking out the double and like it's the double scares me more than I save with getting the walk back. If Absolutely, that makes sense. I agree. 
but awesome. And I found this really cool picture online. He just looks like he's dealing this thing. Oh, it's <laughs> a great picture, dude. Those those oh, those Sandy, those Padres jerseys are oh, my favorite. I hate. That's I hate. That's, well, I don't mind this one. It. I hate the brown on like the oh, brown. Oh, I love the brown. The straight up, I have. I'm. I, I'd be lying if I said I hadn't gone on Fanatics and like searched like the brown UPS. You know. Well, the, if I want to get new jerseys this year, it's going to be Tatis and and. But I would get this jersey before you, I got the you UPS gotta one. You got to get the brown. No, what, you're spending the no, money, man. Oh my no, gosh. Oh no, no. Oh no. <laughs> man, we got to if the Padres I don't know if the Padres come into town, but like I feel like that's a game that like we just got to go to just from like a Yeah, I would oh, I would love to. I would uh, love to. And then last up, we have a guy that I don't even know if I've heard of of JT uh JT Brewbaker um who's pitching phenomenal this year. He only has a 176 ERA. And a 1.04 whip, but this week he picked up two wins, 12 strikeouts. He only had one walk in those two starts, and uh, only had one run each game. Picks up, you know, the, like I said, the two wins had a .79 ERA. So now we're talking again, um, a very draftable card here, a five-five inning guy, one through yeah. sixteen out, no doubles. <laughs> Uh, I, yeah, I, I did mean, not think I was going to be talking about JT Brubaker this season. <laughs> no, I mean, it sounds like I'm not sure. I'm not, I'm getting really confused with how the rookie rules work in the MLB, but, um, but he, 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 his first year was in 2020. His first, he, he pitched, uh, oh. he started nine, he started nine games, which is basically one of your main pitchers. He was one in three. Um, I'm not sure how he, you know, where he stacked into that, uh, uh, the Pirates uh, kind of rotation, but, um, you know, uh, he had a, a 1.3 whip, you know, his ERA was a four of almost a five. So he didn't do super well, but um, now he's, uh, he's doing, he's two and oh, all right. He's doing super well. He's a 1.76 ERA. I mean, yeah, this card and this yeah, card, I'm three you. starts, oh, 1.76 ERA. I mean, this is what, you, I mean, if you're the pirates fans, this is what you're happy about seeing hundred <laughs> percent. He's got, I mean, the, a, a potential number one coming, you know, just kind of coming out of there and, um, and man, the pirates need it. So, for sure. So again, that brings us up. Oh, sorry. That wraps up this week in <laughs> Showdown. Stay tuned next week when we'll have maybe some uh, new surprises, including maybe worst week in Showdown this week. Yes. But yes. Uh, for now, we definitely want to keep the, the, the player uh, uh, format that we're doing and hope to see some new players this week. Any comments, Jeff? No, man. I'm, uh, I'm, ready, for some, uh, I'm ready for some players underperforming. So we got to shout some of those out. For sure. All right, thank you everyone for tuning in and see you next week. Peace.